Welcome everyone. Good afternoon. Welcome to our weekly, we are weekly again now, Soul Changes Lives webinar. My name is Debbie Perez Cockburn. I am your host for our discussions every week. Quickly, I just want to remind everyone, I am not a licensed medical doctor. I do not dispense medical advice, but I am a huge um, natural health enthusiast and do my best to share my knowledge that I've acquired over 30 years in the business. And so I welcome all of you. And I'm very happy, very happy that you're here with us, that you've been with us this summer every other week. And I hope that you'll join us every week from now on. And uh, we're going to go ahead and start today with a testimonial. If I can go ahead and share a picture with you. I want to go ahead and share my screen. So let's see if it will let me share my screen. Here we go. Like I said, I've got a million pages open today. And so <laughs> it's going to let me. All right, here we go. So today's testimonial is uh, from my mother-in-law. Well, I have two mothers-in-law. This is Jerry's stepmom. Um, and her name is Mrs. Sarah Cockburn. And Mrs. Sarah fell two weeks ago. Can y'all see my screen? Somebody type in something or show me your face and say, yes, hopefully you can see this. But my, my um, stepmother-in-law, awesome, she fell two weeks ago out on her porch. And you can see her poor little chin and her fingers and everything is just really, really bruised. And so we called her the next day after she got back from the emergency room just to see how she was doing. And she told me and, you know, she sent me this picture, which is quite frightening when we got it. And um, I was really just so scared for her because I, I couldn't believe what had happened. And so I told her, Sarah, do you have or do you still have any soul flex? Yes, I'll take that. Wonderful. I said, do you have any of the AC cream? Yes, I do. She said, well, which one is the AC cream? And I said, you know, the one in the green and white tube. And she said, oh, I think I have that. And I said, well, I want you to go ahead and rub it on your face twice a day, three times a day, whenever you remember. And this was this morning. Can you guys see this picture? Wow. Isn't that amazing? That is amazing. Yes. So in less than two weeks, um, she got all the bruising out. But I want to tell you what the, what the real story was, because she started putting on the cream on her chin, like I told her. And two days after she started, the dark spot that was in the bottom of her chin, and it was so tight. There was so much pressure on her jaw. She didn't break it, thankfully. And she didn't break anything. I was really grateful because the year before she actually had fallen and fractured her arm. And so um, she's doing really good. She's been on our um, Improve Your Health um, in four months program. She's been doing that faithfully for a year and she loves the products. Um, and so she started putting the cream on. And like I started to say, two days later, the skin right there where the darkest part that point was on her chin ruptured and all that trapped blood just flowed right out. She said immediately she felt no more pressure on her chin and that blood just cleared out and she just kept putting the AC cream on for two days. And that's the result that you saw in those pictures. And so I'm so happy that she stuck with it and that she listened because she jokes, you know, my, my, uh, my stepmother-in-law is a very Christian woman. And she says, you know, between God and you and soul, y'all are going to keep me alive for a long time. <laughs> and she just turned uh, 81. And so um, I'm just so glad that she's loving the product and that she's doing well. And that's our testimonial. And I don't see Greg on yet. So I'm going to do a screen share one more time. And we're going to go to um today's health tip which goes right along with the class it is from dr jenkins most of you know dr jenkins is in our group and so i'm going to go ahead and start this and we will go ahead and view this video i love it i can't wait for you to see it 
This is Dr. Hugh Jenkins. I'm here to give you some more information about some of the health nutrients that are beneficial for your body. Today, I'm going to be talking about some of the good fats, the family of the omegas, the omega-3, 6, 7, and 9. The omega-3 is the most researched one and the most popular one. Some of its benefits is good for blood clotting. Now, if you're having problems with blood clots and you're on a blood thinner, talk it over with your doctor. So to see if you need this. Another benefit is that it helps to uh, build up the cell membranes in the brain to increase enhanced brain function from infancy to elderly. And the research has been done for good cognizant function to reduce down the risk of dementia and Alzheimer's. It's also very beneficial and enhances joint function. Uh, so it's beneficial for athletes to lose the, the fat and build up muscle mass. It reduces down the risk of chronic diseases such as high blood pressure, other heart diseases, diabetes, and cancer. It's one of your best anti-inflammatories. One of the good sources of it are your fatty fish, vegetable oils such as olive oil, coconut oil, flaxseed oil, and your green vegetables. Your next uh, omega is your omega-7. It is good for brain function too, uh, for growth and development of the entire body. It's good for the growth of the hair, skin, nails, and bones. It regulates the metabolism, but one negative effect of the omega-6 is that it increases inflammation. So we need to have less of that. The sources of that are your refined vegetable oils, nuts, and grain-fed meats, which is in the average American diet. The new kid on the block is omega-7. It reduces inflammation like the omega-3. It reduces uh, insulin resistance in diabetics. So even if you're not having problems with diabetes and you've been diagnosed with pre-diabetes and diabetes and you're not insulin resistant, this is a very good omega to take. Some of its natural sources are your green leafy fruits and vegetables, but it's also naturally produced in the body. So you can do that on a healthy diet. One of your next ones is uh, omega-9. It also helps re reduce inflammation like the omega-7 and the omega-3. It helps to uh, improve the function of the joints and healing so if you have problems with arthritis and bone injuries are broken, the omega-9 is beneficial for that. It prevents a, a variety of diseases. Good sources of that is your olive oil, your vegetable oil, and the omega-7. It's food from the body natural on a healthy diet. One thing about the omega-7, which is very beneficial, is that it's in the sea buckthorn, which is in our soul omegas. So, Take some of these and enjoy your health and let us know how you're doing from there. I love that. Wasn't that great information about the omega-3, 6, 7, and 9, which why I love Soul Mega's products, right? Because it has the sources of omega-3, 6, 7, 9. And in addition to that, um, and this is the reason why I asked Greg to talk to us about um, Soul Megas today, is the addition of perilla oil. Now, some of you may not be familiar with perilla oil or even heard about perilla. Well, maybe you might be hearing about it now since Dr. Axe and Dr. Ash and even, um, oh gosh, I can't remember the other Dr. Goodry, Gundry, Dr. Goodry the one with the very white hair and the glasses, they're all discovering now how beneficial perilla oil is and um, why if you add it to a vegan source of omega, like Soul Megas is a vegan source of omegas, why it's more complete and a lot more beneficial to the body. So Dr. Jenkins touched on a lot of things, um, but it's interesting to, to me that soul is always ahead of the curve. So now that these um, health gurus are discovering the benefits of perilla oil, well, guess what? Dr. Allison Caldwell Andrews came to Greg almost three years ago about perilla oil and about adding it 
to the Soul Megas formula? Well, of course, Greg being the great brainiac that he is, um, decided to do the research. And what they found was, yes, we definitely need to add um, the perilla oil. Sorry, I'm trying to make Greg a co-host. Here we go. Um, and then we need to add the perilla oil. And so they did. And I'm so grateful because I feel like it's made such a difference for me. The two and a half years that I've been using Soul Megas now with the perilla oil, Dr. Jenkins touched on something that for me was very personal. Most of you know about Four months ago, I fell and I had a very little hairline fracture in my pelvis and had some injuries, right? I really do accredit the use of all of the soul products to my quick healing. And I think that that Omega really has sealed the deal for me um, on how beneficial it is and all of the things it can do. And so I really wanted Greg to tell us today He's not going to divulge any secret sauce because now you know the secret sauce. We have omegas in, in abundance, right, in this product. But we know that in our daily diets, if we follow the natural American diet, we're going to get a lot more omega-6 because we tend to go out more and eat more processed food. And omega-6 isn't bad for you. But if you get it in too much quantity, right, it kind of exacerbates chronic inflammation. And what I love about using a great vegan source or plant-based source of omegas is that you're gonna dramatically reduce inflammation in the body as well as reduce all of the other situations that he talked about. So Greg, I'm gonna turn the time over to you. I know it's a busy afternoon for all of us. It's been a crazy busy day for me. Um, thank you for making the time to get on with us every other week um, and talking about your passion and mine, which is Soul Naturals. Um, and so I've asked you to speak a little bit about the perilla oil today. Why don't you go ahead and take it away? Thanks, Deb. And hello, everybody. It's good to see you. I'm glad I got to hear at least part of Dr. Jenkins. I love listening to him teach. He's got such a wealth of experience. And, you know, you can you can read it and study it. I'm sure he's done that. But actually living it with others, you know, seeing results and being there to mentor people and helping, I think it teaches you infinitely more. And he's, he's like several of you, he's definitely done that for a long, long time. So please, when you see him, whoever sees him next, tell him thank you. I'm sure Debbie's already thanked him. Um, so today, let me, let me show you a few slides. I'm going to, like Debbie said, I want to focus on perilla oil and solmegas, but if you don't mind, I want to bounce around a little bit in our omega slides because I know we have some newer faces here who maybe haven't seen this. <clears throat> I don't know if you remember this show, the Beverly Hillbillies <laughs> back in the 70s. I do. I'm old enough to know that show. So we thought this was funny because, because it, you know, the whole concept of the show was Jed Clampett, who you see here, he was out hunting and he shot his shotgun. And when the, within, when the, uh, the uh, buckshot hit the ground, oil came bubbling up. So we had this oil on his property and then they become these multi-gazillionaires and they moved to Beverly Hills, but they still are good country folk, kind of, that's kind of the premise, right? So we thought that was kind of funny because he was looking for food, but he ended up finding oil. Well, now informed people are looking for oil in their food. But the right kind of oils. That's what that's what Dr. Jenkins was teaching us. Omega oils, good fats, they are huge. This this is a composition, a, a combination of a couple, two or three different trainings from Dr. Allison. These slides. I want to bounce through them today, so we're not going to cover them up because we don't need to. Okay, don't don't stress that because at another time, another place, we can do other parts if you want, if Debbie wants. But remember. Improved circulation and heart health, softer skin, a focused mind, healthy joints, balanced nerves. These are all things that omegas can make a huge difference in. There are other areas, of course, but these are just some biggies. Um, and most people get it from fish oil. Debbie's already talked about this. These are from plants. Why did we do it this way? Well, all of what we do is from plants because the body will utilize it much more efficiently. Contrary to a lot of messages and 
and some research out there that will, especially with omegas, claim that an animal source is actually better. We look, if someone's getting more omegas in their life, good for them. And that, and they're gonna do it from animals. I, I wanna applaud every good step people take. This is just a better step because what happens is you don't have the issues of purity. You don't have the burping it up, which is very, very common with animal source omegas, whether it's fish or krill or salmon or you know all these different um, you know wonderful really sources of them. They don't digest readily. You have to deal with the heavy metals and things in the in the seawater now. And now with plants, what we know is that it all starts with plants anyway. This is why we call them powerful plant omegas. This is the source of the omega. All animals at some point it's being derived and then it concentrates in them like the fish from what they eat from these wonderful rich plant sources. And there are tons of them. So why are they so important? Well, here's two things from Dr. Allison. Our brain development is affected. These omegas modulate, which means it can scale up or scale down or ramp up or ramp down. I thought that isn't the right word. I'm looking for the right word. Modulate is about a balancing of what's needed. It's, so you have overactive situations. Modulators don't ever result in that. The body can take what it needs. It, it, it gets rid of the rest. And second, division, vision development. So when we think about children, even very young children, I, I wish and hope we would think about omegas for them. There are so many ways you can give them to them. They can, they can, oh, they can be, you can poke a, a pin in them, you know, and squirt them into things that they drink if they, before they're too old, you know, before they're old enough to, to swallow them. There are ways we can get them to them. And with a little bit of really concentrated therapeutic omegas, you're giving them much more. They would have to eat so much of other things to get that amount. And you're helping, their brains are developing for many years mothers that are expecting right same thing pregnant mothers oh and omegas should be right in the center plant omegas um, and you don't have the discomfort of the animal source so they're they're huge they modulate inflammatory reactions all things to do with the heart all things to do with the brain they are a source of energy actually a preferred source don't cause as many free radicals when the body burns fats good fats um they help us maintain the structure of our cells, the cell walls. Uh, we can talk about it in any number of parts of the body and systems that are so key. And omegas are all, they play a role in that. When our nerves signal each other, neural transmitters that happen, cognitive health, you know, when decline starts, all of these things are part of omegas. And plant omegas, to me, are the... Um, the leveraging way to do it. Leverage to me means I can with a little do a lot. That's leverage. So where I maybe took five or six to get a result of an animal omega, I don't even care what type it is. There are different concentrations. I can expect to take one or two of soul omegas. That's how much leveraged these plant omegas are. Even with a level that you would describe as less milligrams, you will see if you are using another type and then you substitute out. And we have lots of examples we could tell you about. Personal experiences of people who are using one kind of omega switch to soul omegas. And this is even before we added perilla. So we're going to talk today a little about this final ingredient we added a couple of years ago. This is even before all that. We had all of these studies happen. So these are the ingredients. The sea buckthorn. This is a queen food, queen level food. It is a superfood. We use both the seed and the fruit, the seed and the fruit. Usually people will just use the seed uh, when it comes to omegas. We use them both. Chia. Don't need to say much about chia, right? It's had quite a bit of talk lately. Flax seed. Black currant. A lot of times we forget that black currant is a key part of this. It is unique and it has these wonderful anthocyanins, proanthocyanins, which are huge. A, for many things, including among them, how permeable our intestine is, leaky gut issues. And then here we, we have the last one, perilla. So perilla looks like, kind of like um, nettle, but without little stingers. If, you, if you're familiar with stinging nettle, it kind of looks like that. Very, very common in Asia. 
And then the final ingredient is sunflower lecithin. If you open up your little soft gel, sometimes Debbie will show them, you'll see that it looks like a little cloud in there floating. That's the lecithin in there, which does not, it actually aids in emulsification. It's not in there to blend with the other oils as much as it is to help your body process all of that. So here's a couple of facts about the others before we jump to Perilla. Sea buckthorn has all the omegas Dr. Jenkins told us about, all of them, three, six, seven, and nine. If you use the fruit and the seed, you got to use both to get all four because the fruit is what has the seven. It is a superfood. To date, more than 160 beneficial biological compounds and 22 different kinds of fatty acids are in C. buckthorn. So many interesting studies about them. One of them is about heart health, of course. This is, that was in India. Here's another one about skin. Why and then and, and it's a it's a natural and a no-brainer to be in skin creams. But remember, we always talk about inside out, right? Yeah, do that, do those wonderful skin creams, but do this, you know, eat this, and you'll you'll get many times the benefit of just a cream. And here's a here's a study talking about the results that come from the, the consumption of this and depression. Uh, how much and, the, and this is in the journal of clinical psychiatry. We won't go into depth because omegas do that in general. Black currant is one of the best at this. All omegas balance uh, mood in a wonderful way. Chia is almost 40% omega-3. So Dr. Jenkins talked about this ratio, right? If we get so, too much of the six, we need more three. You can see this is skewed to the three. Even though it's a balanced omega, so omegas is balanced, it's skewed with more threes because that's where the greatest need is. Um, it is both heart, both heart protective and in one study in Australia, liver protective, chia. She is always a good thing, especially with the, the prevalence of fatty liver now that is unrelated to alcohol. People that don't drink alcohol in huge numbers are getting fatty liver because of diet, stress, and a lot of factors in, in lifestyle. And this can make a big difference, chia. Um, the flax seed, again, lots of great studies. It does have this ALA omega-3 as well. Um, it, it also has the beneficial type of lignin in plants that is, is a hormone balancer. Hormones are always involved in both ways, right? Because the omegas feed the ability to create them. Um, and here's black currant. In the black currant, this, this 2005 study compared it to fish oil. And it flat out did better. It had better fats in your blood, better cholesterol levels, more healthy levels with the plant source than supposedly the, you know, the popular source, which I, it's still pretty popular. Again, I'm not criticizing because if people are putting that in their diet, good for them. It's a great first step. Um, and then we get to the last one, Perilla. So why did we decide to mess with this formula? It was perfect for Jed Clampett the way it was. And the reason is because Perilla was so and is so impressive and is a great com combiner with other omegas. There's a great synergy when, when uh, Perilla is added. Um, it is, can you believe that? It looks like nettle, but it's a member of the mint family. How many herbs that are life changers for us are a member of the mint family? There's like, there's a big long list, you know? It, I'm not saying they're all mints, but they're in that family. So, couple thousand years, probably more, certainly more, but documented. It, it's been used in Chinese medicine for 2000 years, commonly used in salads in Japan, Korea, and I'm guessing a number of countries in the Orient. Um, in Korea is where I think a lot of the research and production for therapeutic omega from Perilla is, has happened. Um, and it's the seeds that are pressed. For these oils. Um, I believe that is where we get our, even though Perilla does grow in a number of countries, I believe it is Korea where ours comes. So you have a couple of different varieties there. Um, that's just FYI. Dr. Allison loves to give these little nuggets of fact. I love them too. Um, and look at that. Now this one is almost up to two thirds of the oil is omega-3 
up to two thirds of it. It's a very mild oil. So it's such a good blender with other oils. It's like olive oil kind of, and it's, it's sort of the strength of flavor. Um, the last point, ALA, alpha linoleic, is a precursor to EPA and DHA. I just did want to mention that because I, I realize I'm giving you opinion, but it's opinion based on a lot of years and a lot of science in the natural health industry. I disagree completely with the, the counsel that's, that's given publicly, and it's usually um, sold and marketed by companies who sell um, fish oil, that you need to you need to take EPA and DHA that's already been produced, which it, like which is what happens with the fit when the fish eat the omegas and they produce this, like we do, that somehow that's better for people. That and the the argument that they give is that we're not very efficient in producing EPA. Our body does produce both DHA and EPA, both of them, but that what they say is we're not efficient. That is true of a lot of things. When, when the sources that we give for omegas are bad sources or whatever source for whatever nutrient you want to put on your list, if it's a very weak source or an impure one or one that's um, overly processed, absolutely, the body's terrible because you're giving the body terrible stuff to work with. But when you give a pure source, what we're finding is the body makes exactly what it's supposed to make and what it needs. I, I really, over the years, I don't believe that the body was built to not be good enough here because the results show otherwise. A person who uses a plant omega that does not have EPA and DHA, but, but gives the body all the raws and the cofactors in, those, in these natural oils to, to go ahead and make that, um, does quite well with them and doesn't have to take as many as they did when they took animal. That would only be if the body is good at doing exactly what it needs. And that, that's why I give you the reason for my statement here, because there is a lot of talk about, you know, go get your EPA and your DHA already constructed. Uh, again, you know, not to criticize those products that have it there, it's all good. But, to, but we shouldn't think that if we don't get it pre-constructed, which means from an animal source, that we're not going to get it. That's just not true. Uh, the body will actually do quite well with it. And that's what we've seen. So Perilla has a big old long list of things that when people just consume it, since it is quite a popular consumption, all these health issues diminish, uh, health challenges, imbalances. It's a long list. It's two pages if we did them. And I was looking for, I, have, I had another page that has more on them and I noticed it yesterday in Spanish and I've only got this one in English, Debbie. So I don't know what happened to the rest of them. But this was from Dr. Allison. It's not just colitis, it's a variety of intestinal imbalances to do with, to deal with the most severe types of imbalances you can get intestinally. And they are greatly improved with just perilla oil. And we've got an, a good amount in, in um, Solmegas. Your lungs and lung health and overreactive, I think the actual study was like over stress, overreactive stress in lungs modulates back down with perilla oil. Why does perilla oil help in weight control? The third point here, because it deals directly in the central core me metabolism uh, and me the whole metabolic process, which is one thing that in the, in the coming months, we're going to talk a little bit more about that in the company. Uh, that, that It really kind of involves everything, doesn't it? All the breaking down of stuff. And once you've got it broken down into the right size blocks, then all the building of the right things that the body does that's all metabolism. And then being able to make sure we keep it clean, keep the waste cleared out. Again, part of metabolism. So perilla oil is in the middle of all that. We have it as a yellow product, a yellow label, which is clarify, because we're kind of focusing with Solmegas on those on clarity, the removing, the removal of blockages, the improvement of the flow of whatever needs to travel and move nerve signals, blood, lymph, things that need to move, um, that they will be helped with good omegas. And that therefore they're, they're clarifying because things stay, pathways stay clear and they function and the message that is sent is received. And that's all part of clarifying that soul. So anyway, perilla oil was kind of a no brainer. I think that might be my last slide. Yeah, that was my last slide on it. So I'll stop my share. But um, we have, it's been, I think about three years, we're coming up on three years with it. 
Yeah. And all I can say is that the Soul Omega's um, feedback and testimonials, even better. It, it's been a really good addition to that formula. And it's mm -hmm. so, yeah, I'm glad that I'm actually glad it's getting press now pub in, <laughs> in the U.S. public, at least, because um, hopefully it'll just get, open more people's eyes to, you know, something plant sourced omegas. That's actually the source of omegas. Right. And I can take those and they're going to make a big difference. Yeah, you know, it's it's so interesting, Greg. Uh, every time I see a presentation, and even though we've seen it before, I learn more and more and more, and I am gently reminded of what Dr. Christopher used to say. He would say that 90% of all disease begins in the colon. And the reason it begins in the colon is because that's the area that becomes the most inflamed, right? when it is not functioning right. There are just as many neurons and nerve endings and receptor sites in the intestines as there are in the brain. And if when people actually make that connection, then something like Solmegas, which is ripe in um, omega-3 and seven and nine, because like we've said, right, you get plenty of omega-6 anywhere. You know, because if you're using processed oils, cold pressed oils, whatever, junk food, you get an abundance of omega-6. What you're not getting an abundance of is omega-3, 7, and 9, right? To get that really good balance. And that's where imbalances happen, right? Inflammation is nothing more than an imbalance in the body, right? And that's what I love that in the four month, improve your health in four months, you know, in the very first month, we have included not only the four foundational drinks, but we've included omegas, the verdezymes, the probiotic, and something that battles inflammation um, more directly, which is the Soulflex PI. So you have all of the components in the first month to try to reestablish balance in the body where this is where most people feel sick, right? They don't know what's going on. They have the headache. They take something for the headache. People don't get down to the root of the problem. We always talk about the leaves, the branches, the, the trunk, and then the stem, right? I mean, the, and then the roots. If we concentrated on giving the body, this is the, another thing that you reminded me of, because I was thinking Dr. Christopher, and then you said something else. And it was, you know, our bodies were designed perfectly. They were not designed to not do well unless we supplement all the time, right? But like you said, plant source is the easiest to digest. It's the easiest to process. Therefore, if the body can absorb and we're working on absorption and, and the colon functioning, like colitis would just colitis, when you think of how many people suffer from colitis in the United States, that's number one, or celiac disease, or, um, oh, what is the one that Mark Pedersen suffered with? Crohn's, Crohn's. Crohn's disease. The more severe, right? In the gut. It's all in the gut, and we can address it all with Solmegas and other plant-sourced um supplements, which is what soul is known for. And so I am so impressed. Like I've been with soul. I started one year after soul was founded. Okay. So I've been with soul almost from the beginning. I'm member number 1,373. That tells you how long I've been with the company. I'm not a two digit or a three digit. I'm a four digit, but I'm a low four digit. <laughs> um, and in the 10 years that I've been using, um, nine years, you know, and change that I've been using our product, I see a difference in me. I see a huge difference. And I always remember when I left my former job, I loved my job, but the stress was so much. The inflammation was so great. I promise you, I've only lost maybe 13 to 15 pounds. But what I've lost in inches has been amazing because inflammation is ex exactly that. It's not fat, but if you look at one gram of fat versus one gram of lean muscle, lean muscle is a lot smaller. It's seven times smaller than the fat, right? But it's the same amount, but the volume is smaller, right? And so as I looked at my life and I compare photos to what I looked like when I retired, it's no wonder Greg always says, you look better now 
than when you first joined Soul. <laughs> and he doesn't mean it um, to be hurtful. It, it's a compliment that I love because I'll be 63 in November. I don't think I look as, you know, like some people look at 60 something. I think I look slightly better, um, but I feel amazing. I feel amazing, you know, and I think that has so much to do with it. And then when I look at Soul's um, products, the ones that have had formula enhancements, you know, Soul Megas is one of those. Verdesimes is another. Uh, Pro Bio IQ also had a little enhancement. Um, and we've looked at so many other things. And it's no wonder my friend Pamela, who is listening today, just wrote me earlier and said, I am in love with these products. Now, she has been in the herbal industry for over 30 years, longer than me, way longer than me. She's been doing that here in Texas for eons. Um, and she noticed the difference in the products and and just how using them together, um, there's so much synergy when you use products. You know, when you combine something like Soul Megas with Soul Royal, you, you're going to do amazing things for your body. And so, Greg, I just wanted to thank you. You missed the testimonial. You know, I showed the picture of my um, mother and my stepmother-in-law, but you didn't get to see what she looks like today almost two weeks after the fall oh, so awesome. you saw yeah, her with all the, yesterday yeah, yeah you saw, saw all the bruising. bruising yeah this oh i'm such like. a big believer i've because of all the biking and running bruise oh boy the bruises you oh, don't yeah. need to have if you use the oils and the soulflex ac <laughs> it's true so she's <laughs> continued to use the the soul megas and such and um, I'm just so, I, I'm thrilled. Thank you again, Greg. And thank you everybody for being with us this week. I love Dr. Jenkins tips. I always love listening to Greg. I love seeing your smiling faces. I love that my mother-in-law called me to say that if it wasn't for God and soul, she wouldn't be here or feel as great. And, I, and then she said, then she thanked me. She just said, thank you for loving me and taking care of me. And isn't that what we want to do is we want to love people and take care of them. And that's why we, we share soul the way we do with so much love, with so much joy and so much sincerity. I love you all. Greg has another webinar he has to jump on, and this is for a closed group that he has to do, has to be at a certain time. So thank you, everyone. Thank you for being here. And I will see you next week. Greg will be back with us in two weeks, but we will have a class next week. We're back to our weekly programming. I love you guys. Thanks so much for being here.